What's a blog without content? And what's content if you can't find it? Hi, I'm Aaron Trammell. I'm an assistant instructor and PhD candidate at Rutgers University, and this is a set of video tutorials I've made on how to use WordPress. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about posts, tags, and categories. Posts are the main contact stream of your blog. When people say, I'm a blogger, what they mean is, I put a lot of posts on my blog. Tags and categories are the ways that people are able to navigate your blog. Think about it like in a book. The categories are the, like the table of contents. It's the internal organization. It's the internal logic of your blog. Tags, on the other hand, are the external logic. They're more like the index. It's how Google looks for things that you've put into your blog. If you tag your name a lot, Google will find that. And then when people Google your name, it'll show your blog posts. Let's look closer at these things. So I know what you're thinking. All right, Aaron, I get it. I know how to edit my widgets. I know how to edit pages. What I really want to do is post things to my blog. So that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. To post stuff to your blog, the main blog feed, the, the key category you need to go under is posts. And that's right here. So go to post, go to all posts. And I strongly recommend that you delete this hello world post. It will kind of out you as a noob if you're a blogger. Uh, you're not really communicating anything useful in it. You see if we go to the blog, hello world, welcome to WordPress. It's basically an advertisement for WordPress. So we can go back over here to the hello world and just trash it. And let the computer think about it for a second. Completely obliterated. Awesome. Now if we want to add a new post, there's this nice little thing, add new here, but you can always get to add new from here as well. So just hit add a new post. And it's going to take us to this thing where we can add a new post. And then, you know, we can, we can put some stuff in it. Uh, first post, exclamation point, and no blog is complete without a first post. Part. Um, and so that's basically the post. And no, you know you can add bold to these things, um, or you know add formatting. We can use this neato cross things out option, strike through, undo that, italicize it, unitalicize it, um, add add links. Uh, do all sorts of stuff over here as if it was anything else. Um, the other thing that you should notice is the tags and categories. Tags are ways that search engines search through your site, and categories are sort of your internal organization. Uh, if you're using a book, basically tags are the table, uh, the index, while categories are the table of contents. So we can add a category, um, blog posts. That's a very not useful category, but we'll add it anyway. Um, and posts with the heart, add new category. Um, and then tags, you know, first post, uh, heart symbol, um, complete new blog, check it out, uh, your name here. Uh, your name's a good way to basically get some publicity for your name on Google searches. If you want your blog to come up high in a Google search, you should often tag posts with your name. So we can just add those tags, hit add. We separate them with commas, and now they're all there. And now if I go to publish, my post will get published. Of course, I have to wait. Internets, time, floating ball of time in the corner of the screen. You know how it is. And in this corner. Um, and then it gives us, you published one post, blah, 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 blah. I don't really care about this. Let's go back to the dashboard. And if we want to preview it, you can go to this and hit the refresh button. First post, no blog is complete without first post. Boldface heart. Here's all the tags, and you can hyperlink between them. 
you know the categories that we put out are right here. It'll show up in recent posts, it'll show up in archives because that's what these widgets are wired to do. And finally, our tag cloud, uh, Retreat to the Skies, you can see all the tags. Now these will grow as you tag things over and over again with the same things. So uh, basically your tag cloud will grow over time. Uh, and that's how you do a post, tags and categories. So that's the essential lesson on how to add content to your blog and then how to hook it into the internet so that people can search it out and find it. In the next lesson, I'll be talking about how to add images and movies to your blog so you can make it more colorful and entertaining. Until then, I'm Aaron Trammell.